Sometimes a game tells you to use a percentile dice or a d100. That can be confusing if you're not used to it, so here's how it's done. Novelty die notwithstanding, there's no such thing as a d100. Instead, you use one of four methods, three of which I'm going to cover in this video. An important term up front, d10 means a 10-sided die. To roll a d100, you can roll two d10 in succession, two different colored d10 rolled together, a percentile die and a d10 rolled together, or you can use any other way of generating a number between 1 and 100. But I'm not going to cover that in this video, this is exclusively about rolling dice. Two 10-sided dice. You've gone out and bought exactly one dice set, so you've got exactly one 10-sided die. No problem. First, roll your d10 once. This is your tens place. Next, roll your d10 again. This is your ones place. Now picture the two numbers you just rolled side by side to form a single number. For example, suppose you rolled an 8 and then a 2. You rolled 82. If you rolled a 1 and then a 9, you've rolled a 19. Now it gets a little tricky. If you rolled a 0 and a 1, then you've rolled a 1. N no 10s, just a 1. If you roll a 0 and a 7, you've rolled a 7. Here's the weird one though. When you roll a 0 and a 0, you have rolled a 100. Two d10s of different colors. If you've got two d10s, each a different color, then you can use one as the 10s die and the other as the ones die. Declare which is which before you roll. Personally, I have a green die that serves as my tens die and a black one for ones. First, roll both die. Assemble a number from your roll result based on which color represents the tens and the ones. For example, suppose I roll a seven on my green die and a five on my black die. I've just rolled a 75. If, if I've rolled a 0 on my green and 2 on black, then I've rolled a 2. This gets a little bit tricky. If I roll a 1 on my green and a 0 on my black die, then I've rolled a 10. 1 and 0, 10. That's not so tricky. Rolling a, a 1 and a 3 is 13. 2 and a 3, 23, and so on. Here's the weird one again. If you roll a 0 on the green die and a 0 on the black die, you have rolled a 100. If it helps, you might think that the 2d10 method rolls essentially from 1 to 99 with a, a 0 tacked on at the end. In other words, it's important to understand that even though it looks like 0, it's actually higher than 99. 1 is the lowest roll you can get. 0, 0 is the highest. Now, it's all just numbers, and you and I might know that we could say on a d100, 99 is the highest, and 0, 0 is the lowest. The problem is that the rest of the world, by and large, every gaming group I've ever played with anyway, considers 0, 1 as the lowest, and 0, 0 as the highest. It gets really awkward and looks really suspicious if you're in a game and you roll 0, 0 and insist that that's actually your version of 1 rather than 100. Sometimes it's best just to confirm with the group how everyone interprets percentile die. And certainly in rule books like Call of Cthulhu, the standard is that 0, 1 is the lowest all the way up to 99, and then 0, 0 is the highest. Percentile die and d10. You can buy a special percentile die from your friendly local game store. Instead of single digits, it's got double digits on it. It's exactly like using a different color die as your tens die, except Instead of it being a different color, it's just got more numbers on it. First, roll both dice. Second, combine the percentile die with the d10 result. For example, suppose you roll a 30 and a 3. You've rolled 33. If you roll 0, 0 and a 4, then you've rolled 4. If you roll a 10 and a 0, then you've rolled a 10. That's tricky because it looks to your eyes like a 100, but it's not. It's 110 with zero ones added on. So how do you get a 100? Well, just as with the other methods, when you roll a 0, 0, and a 0, you have rolled a 100. If it helps, consider that the only time it's possible to get 100% of anything on percentile dice is when all digits are 
zero. When you roll three zeros, you have achieved 100% of the same number on both die. That's one way to think about it, maybe it'll help. Whether a roll of the highest value, zero, 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 is good, or whether you actually want a low roll, zero, zero, one, depends entirely on the game you're playing. Games like Call of Cthulhu and Stalking the Night Fantastic reward low rolls because you're uh, aiming for a number within your range of skill, while other games reward high results because they represent a high likelihood of something occurring. Regardless of the implications, though, you now know how to roll a d100. Thanks for watching.